Hello friends, I am Gaurav Gupta and I welcome all of you to Beju's exam prep formerly known as Grader. Now Beju's exam prep is the most comprehensive app for the preparation for all examinations including CAT and other MB entrance examinations. Now here we provide end-to-end -end preparation for our aspirants so that they can achieve their desired goals. Now friends, Today in this session, we are going to discuss the basic pattern of CAT with the type of questions that appear in CAT every year and the topics from which the questions are asked. All right. So let's move in a very systematic way. So I'll first of all start with the first section of CAT, which is VARC, Verbal Ability and Reading Comprehension. <clears throat> now in this section, a total of 26 questions are to be finished in 40 minutes all right so in total we are given 40 minutes to finish this section having 26 questions the breakup of these 26 questions is uh, given on the screen so you will get 18 questions from reading comprehensions now these 18 questions are divided into four rc passages all right now among these four rc passages two rc passages are with five questions each and other two rc passages having four questions each now other than reading comprehension you will get four questions from para jumbles and four questions from para summary now when i'm talking about this particular pattern so this was the pattern that was followed by cat in the last year okay now this year the cat has already announced that the pattern will be same but you may see a little bit of changes as far as number of questions in rc are concerned but we are expecting that the cat will go ahead with the same pattern as it was in the last year. All right. Now let's talk about these three types of questions, reading comprehensions, para jumbles and para summary one by one. Okay. Now if I talk about reading comprehension, <coughs> this is one of the most important topics, one of the most important things in cat. Okay. Now we can say that there are 18 questions uh, out of 26 questions in uh, this section and there are 18 questions out of a total of 76 questions in CAT. So it can be easily said that reading comprehension comprises of approximately 25% of CAT. So one fourth of CAT is comprised of reading comprehension. Okay. So this is a very, very important thing that you must be practicing. All right. Now the range of RCs can be like an RC can be an abstract topic. It can be given from anything like science, technology, environment. All right. It can be from business, econ economics, management. It can be uh, philosophy. It can be sociology. It can be anything. Okay. So these are different ranges from where we pick these RC passages. All right. Now, if you are a well-read person, you have a habit of reading newspapers on daily basis. So you will encounter like there are higher chances that you might encounter one of the articles that you have read earlier in CAT. Okay. A lot of my students have told me that like uh, they have a habit of reading newspapers on daily basis and like they were lucky to see one of the passages that they have already read a uh, few days back to be coming in RC section of CAT. All right. Now, the range of these RCs can be from the uh, like above areas, but let's talk about the type of questions that you will generally get. Okay. Now, these questions can be based on the main idea of the passage. They can be title based, like they'll ask you to give a suitable title to the passage. All right. Now, the questions may not be direct. They may be inference based. They may be factual based. They may ask you about the tone of the author while he was writing that passage. They may ask you questions on the structure of the passage and the questions may be also on vocabulary. All right. So vocabulary based questions are generally uh, like the contextual usage of any word in from the passage. They may be asking you the antonyms or synonym of any of the words. All right. Now moving ahead, if I talk about para jumbles, so this can be asked in different formats. So it can be an MCQ type. So they may give you a set of four or five sentences and will ask you to rearrange them to form a coherent paragraph. Okay. So 
After that, they may give you four or five options. All right. But generally, we have seen that in CAT, para jumbles, they don't have options with them. Okay. So basically, these questions are non MCQ type. Basically, type in the answer. Okay. So if they have given you four sentences or if they have given you five sentences, now you cannot you don't have a support of the options so you will have to find out yourself that which sentence will be the starting of the paragraph which sentence will be the following sentence and which sentence will be the ending of the paragraph all right now another format on which these questions may be asked is odd one out type so let's say they'll give you five sentences out of which four will be forming a coherent paragraph and one will be odd one out. So you will have to find out the sentence which is odd one out that does not fits into the passage. All right. So these are different ways in which para jumble questions can be asked. The next is para summary. Now this question are asked in almost every cat. So I have been watching this particular thing since last lot of years. So you will definitely find para summary questions in CAT. Okay. Now the way these questions are asked, so they'll give you a small passage. All right. And we'll ask you to pick, we'll ask you to pick a summary of that passage. All right. Now, obviously these paragraphs are around 80 to 100 words and followed by four options. Okay. So our objective is to find out the best summary of the passage and all these questions including para jumbles as well as reading comprehension, they require a lot of reading. Okay. So in these 40 minutes, you'll have to read all these things. So that means our reading speed should be very good. Okay. So we need to develop our reading speed in the next few days. So if you are a cat 21 aspirant, you have around 80 days left for you. Okay. So in these 80 days, make sure that you are reading at least four to five articles on daily basis from any newspaper or magazine and try to read novels probably on daily basis. Okay. And try not to read fictional novels. Okay. So if you want to develop your reading skills, try and read non fictional novels. Okay. Now let's move on to the next section of cat section number two. This is data interpretation and logical reasoning. Now in the last year, we have seen a total of 24 questions. Obviously the time limit of 40 minutes again for the second section. In all, there were five sets. So there were two sets in which there were six questions and there were three sets having four questions each. Now <coughs> we cannot categorize these sets among LR or DI sets, but generally if I'll talk about data interpretation, so these sets will consist of some tables and caselets. Okay. Now caselets can be in the form of bar line or pie graphs. Okay. It can be a tabular data that is given to you. And the most favorite topic of cat is Venn diagrams, the set theory. So they'll not be asking you the questions of set theory, but they'll be asking you questions which are based on Venn diagrams. So it can range from a three set Venn diagram to four set Venn diagram or the concept of maxima minima applied in case of Venn diagrams. All right. Now, if I'll talk about logical reasoning, usually you will see questions from arrangements with combinations of other topic. So obviously the question, the set will be of arrangement and it may be a combination of arrangement with other topics like sequence, syllogisms, other, other things. So, so, so they'll give you different sentences, different conditions in the same set. Okay. And you'll have to uh, basically arrange them. And the sentences that will be there will be very tricky sentences. All right. So the different topics that you will see here in logical reasoning can be arrangements, syllogisms, logical sequence, blood relations, cubes, clocks and calendars. Now cubes, clocks and calendars are not very favorite topic if I'll talk about cat, but definitely we have seen questions coming from these areas as well. All right. So you need to basically brush up the concepts of all these areas before you are going for cat. All right. Now talking about the third section, which is quantitative aptitude. Again, like in verbal, there were 26 questions. So in this section, we also have 26 questions again to be finished in 40 minutes. Okay. Now, generally we have seen all questions independent of each other, but 
in some occasions we may also have a set of two questions or maybe three questions okay but generally the questions are independent of each other all right now the areas from which these questions are asked arithmetic the most favorite area of any of examinations be it cat zat ift take any entrance examination for any b school arithmetic has been the favorite area so if i'll talk about cat as well so from all the questions that you will see in quant section you will see one fourth at least one fourth of the questions that are coming from arithmetic okay in the last year out of 26 we have seen at least 10 questions coming from arithmetic so that has increased the weightage more than one third all right so arithmetic is the favorite area the areas the topics that are covered in arithmetic are uh, pretty obvious topics percentages profit loss and sici so this area is basically nothing but the application of percentages so if you have a clarity about the concepts of percentages then you know there is no need to worry about profit loss and simple interest compound interest all right next is ratios and its applications in averages mixtures time speed distance one of the most important topics uh, expected that you will see at least three questions from this area and then at least one question from the area of time and work now the next area is number systems now number systems uh, we have not seen any direct question to be coming from number system okay so you might see like one or two direct questions from number system but this topic is very important as far as its applications are concerned in some other topics all right so the application of lcm hcf properties of numbers the remainders base systems certs and indices so certs and indices is one topic you will rarely see a direct question coming in cat okay but the properties of certs and indices will be used everywhere because we use powers the fractional powers in most of the questions all right so number number system is again an important topic but not from the point of view of direct questions but from the point of view of applications all right now the next area that we'll expect is geometry and you can expect at least five to six questions from this area now the topics that will range uh, will be lines and angles so you will see questions from triangles polygons quadrilaterals application of circles then three dimensional geometry and mensuration and finally coordinate geometry all right now if i talk about this entire geometry part i can say that triangles is one of the most important areas that you should be focusing on okay because if you understand if you know all the theorems in triangles then you can do good in the areas of polygons quadrilaterals as well as circles because polygons quadrilaterals and circles are completely dependent on the application of triangles all right next if i talk about three dimensional geometry and mensuration uh, you will see a maximum of one question from this area okay as per my experience and again from coordinate geometry maximum of one question but exceptions may also happen okay so this is the general pattern or general uh, i can say trend that we are following that that we have seen in the previous years that i'm telling you okay the next area is algebra my god so algebra is considered as the most difficult things so when it comes to functions graphs inequalities then uh, like our, our, our basics are very poor in these areas okay but again in the past we have seen five to six questions coming from this area of algebra okay now you should not be leaving this topic completely so if you think that this particular area is your weakness okay then at least go through each and every basic of all these topics just understand the basics of functions the types of functions the uh, the plotting of graphs of basic functions like modulus square function quadratic function and so on okay so just read this topic just practice these topics at the very basic level if in case these areas are your weak areas all right now the aspirants who are 
planning to take CAT the next year in CAT uh, in, in the year of 2022, then they must start focusing on algebra from day one only. All right. Finally, we'll see modern maths to be coming. So the application of permutation combination and probability will be there and you will see very interesting questions coming from this area. All right. So friends, that's it about the pattern and the type of questions that you will see in CAT. This is all from my side for the day. Thank you very much.